doing a little study on the book of Peter, 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 3 through 22, family. And I'm reading this out of the easy-to-read version. Um, definitely read it and study it in the KJV version, but this is to help others that are just coming to Christ or trying to get the word, trying to get a little bit of knowledge about it. It's an easier-to-read version. Um, so we're going to start at verse 3. These false teachers only want your money, so they will use you by telling you things that are not true. But the judgment against these false teachers have been ready for a long time. They will not escape God who will destroy them. When angels sinned, God did not let them go free without punishment. He sent them to hell. He put those angels in caves of darkness where they would be held until the time when God would judge them. And God punished the evil people who lived long ago. He brought a flood to the world that was full of people who were against God, but he saved Noah and the seven other people with him. Noah was a man who told people about living right. God also punished the evil cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. He burned them until there was nothing left but ashes. He used those cities as an example of what would happen to the people who were against God. But he saved Lot, a good man who lived there. Lot was greatly troubled by morally bad lives of those evil people. This good man lived with those evil people every day, and his good heart was hurt by the evil things he saw and heard. So you see that the Lord God knows how to save those who are devoted to him. He will save them when trouble comes. And the Lord will hold evil people to punish them on the day of judgment. That judgment is for those who are always doing the evil that their sinful selves want to do. It is for those who hate the Lord's authority. These false teachers do whatever they want, and they are so proud of themselves. They are not afraid even to say bad things against the glorious ones. The angels are much stronger and more powerful than these beings, but even the angels don't accuse them and say bad things about them to the Lord. But these false teachers speak evil against what they don't understand. They are like animals that do things without really thinking, like wild animals that are born to be caught and killed, and like wild animals, they will be destroyed. They have made many people suffer, so they themselves will suffer. That is their pay for what they have done. They think it is fun to do evil where everyone can see them on um, social media. They, they evil the things that please them. So they are like dirty spots and stains among you. They bring shame to you in the meals you eat together. Every time they look at a woman, they want her. They are always sinning this way. And they lead weaker people into a trap of sin. They have taught themselves well to be greedy. They are under a curse. These false teachers left the right way and went the wrong way. They followed the same way that the prophet Balaam went and his son. He loved being paid for doing wrong. But a donkey told him that he was doing wrong. And a donkey cannot talk, of course. But that donkey spoke with a man's voice and stopped the prophet from acting so crazy. These false teachers are like springs that have no water. They are like clouds that blow by a storm. A place in the deepest, darkest have been kept for them. They boast with words that mean nothing. They lead people into a trap of sin. They find people who have just escaped from a wrong way of life and lead them back into sin. They do this by using evil things people want to do in their human weakness. These false teachers also promise those people freedom, but they themselves are not free. They are slaves to the mind that has been ruined by sin. Yes, these people are slaves to anything that controls them. People can be made free from evil in this world. They can be made free by knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But if they go back to those evil things that are controlled by them, when it is worse for them than it was before. Yes, it would be better for them to never have known the right way. That would be better for them to know wait, that would be better to than them to know the right way than to turn away from the holy teaching that was given to them. What they did is like these true sayings a dog vomits and goes back to what it threw up, and after a pig is washed, it goes back and rolls in the mud again.